Hello internet friends, so a few people have been asking about getting geared for the end game in Star Wars Galaxies Legends and that's something I can definitely show you, it's no problem at all. I can't show you exactly how to get all this gear because there are infinite ways to do that, you need to get it in your own time, but I can talk you through what is needed basically. So the first thing for end game is armor and a full set of armor of whatever kind but the basic idea is that you have as many armor pieces as possible so for instance be cautious of picking something like Ubi's armor as your final form because that has fewer slots for you to add skill tapes to and stuff but basically uh yeah you so you want to be using a suit of armor with, that is capped and by capped i mean here look at all these resists here this is unlayered armor so everything is 6000 that basically means that the armorsmith has used all of the points available in the creation of the armor and this is a very straightforward one uh, but it's not going to be 6,000. You can choose what you want. So, for instance, your armorsmith might have created uh, armor with slightly lower special protection, heat, cold, acid, electricity, and higher kinetic and energy, but he will have still used all the points available in his in the creation of the armor. So that is what is me meant by capped. But these stats will be different depending on the type of armor and it's different types of resistance for the type of thing that you're doing for information purposes primus armor is something that is valued and you'll see that on the bazaar primus armor sacrifices exactly as i said these special protections for higher kinetic and energy protection and that seems to be the most popular uh, kind of thing on the server but not exclusively so it's up to you but make sure the armor is capped and like i say you want to get armor with as many pieces to it as possible because the more pieces of armor you're wearing the more opportunity you have to add skill points to it so that's the armor but when you're wearing armor you also have slots for other things so you can always wear a shirt underneath your armor you want to be wearing a shirt uh, I'll talk about skill tapes in a second, but let's look at what else Gris has got here to add to his... Well, I mean, pretty much his armor is covering everything. The only additional thing is the shirt, and then we get on to jewelry. I'll talk about jewelry in a moment. Quick pickup, I forgot about the backpack. Gris is wearing a backpack there with some stat boosts as well. I think backpacks and bandoliers you trade between. You can't wear... You wear one or the other, but you can add a skill tape to a, uh, a bandolier, or you can have a backpack with some skill mods as well. But it might be that you have other slots available and uh, you would use those with... Uh, so if you've got clothes underneath your armor, make sure those have skill attachments and stuff as well. That being said, I might as well talk about skill attachments now. As you can see on my shirt, I have my exotic attachments and you want those to be class specific. So for this medic, critical hit reduction, heal action and healing potency is what I've decided. And you can do that on your breastplate. You want the exotics on there as well. And I've chosen exactly the same. And for his primary weapon, he has all of those things baked in also. Now, you'll see that on his gun, he has a slightly better, uh, some additional stats. And that's because when you buy these items, so armor, uh, breastplate, and oh, what, what else is it? Breastplate. I don't think, not sure if it applies to shirt, breastplate. Uh, but the armor or weaponsmith can add stats. So the really valued items, so for instance, my breastplate, uh, it's capped armor, it's unlayered armor. I've got an attachment that is class specific on there, but this could be even better if the armor smith had put some additional stats that were class specific for me before creating this uh, breastplate so that's what you really want to be looking for but the problem is that what you want is not always going to be available on the bazaar so you have to maybe talk to an armor smith in order to get that uh, so breastplate weapon and shirt should have your exotics which are class usually class specific skills and then on every other piece of armor or clothing you want some stats slotted so let's start looking at those helmet for instance uh these are what are called your 35 so on every piece you want the stats which are your base stats precision strength agility constitution look and what's the last one the one that I've forgotten <laughs> that is the last one on every piece of armor. That's Those are your skill attachments uh, and you're stacking, stacking those. And generally, you'll want to choose the ones that are most important to your class. So that's armor, clothes, and then we get on to... What are we on to next? 
jewelry sets, right? Uh, jewelry sets uh, give some really cool bonuses to your class, and you want to get hold of these. These are got these are gotten. I'm English, so I don't say gotten, but there you go. It's a useful word in this case. Ah, so I got the first responder set for this medic. What jewelry set you want will depend on your class, obviously, and you basically grind heroics for the tokens that you need to take the to the vendor in the village of Aurelia, and you exchange those tokens for the different jewelry sets. It can take a while of grinding heroics, or you can buy them on the bazaar. On Legends, they generally come up over time. You just need to keep checking and uh, you can get those. Bear in mind that if you do buy them from the bazaar, then you're not going to get the additional, there's some additional stats that you get as a reward for running the heroic. So if you really want to get every little inch uh, percentage of your min maxer, then you want to actually grind heroics. You're, you're missing something if you just do uh, buy them from the bazaar, but that doesn't matter to me, that little percentage. I am not bothered about that at all. Okay, so I switched to Naplu because things for the Jedi are slightly different. You can get by doing all of those things with the armor and the shirt and the attachments uh, without having to do this. But once you're really getting towards the end game with the Jedi, you want to be working on getting your Shatterpoint Cloak, which is a massive uh, strength and potency boost for the Jedi. Uh, you get that through a quest chain. I'm going to link in the description of the video um, uh, an overview of how to do that. Uh, there's some great guides online. I've done a couple like how to defeat certain bosses in the quest line and how to get uh, the saber that I got. But um, you you know, doing a comprehensive guide of that is not really possible because uh, I don't want to do it multiple times with multiple characters. But uh, yeah, so check out that guide in the description. You'll also need your fifth generation lightsaber for the Jedi. That is part of the Master Cloaks collection. So you'll be working towards getting that fifth gen saber as you get the cloak. So you want to get the Shatterpoint cloak. And the other thing is the belt of Bodo Bass. Uh, that is, again, it's a collection and you have to do certain tasks within that quest line in order to get it. So those are the two things on top. Once you are wearing those, then you don't really need a lot of armor with the Jedi. The cloak and the belt take care of that, but you still want to be wearing any clothes you can underneath as you can see, I've got agility, constitution on strength, on my gloves, on my slacks, on my shirt, which are all underneath. Uh, the, I've got a bandolier on, you know, mess around with that, see if you can wear a bandolier, because if you can, you can add another uh, skill attachment, another 35. And then your jewelry attachment, exactly the same for whatever class of Jedi you are. All right, so that's for Jedi. Then there are buffs to consider. Uh, not Don't overlook buffs. You, you want high, uh, good, really good ones. And uh, I've got some veggie parsing here, agility. But the, the stuff that's really good to be getting are the uh, certain quest rewards. So for instance, I'll show you some of these. There are many in the game, but uh, here are some key ones. The Mustafarian Injector is a, is a good one to get. And that's a quest on Mustafa, as you might expect. But this is basically advanced protection, and it gives you uh, an extra strength, 100 points of strength and precision. And that is remarkable in that there's never a downtime on it. That's basically a permanent boost. You can always have that running. So once you've got that, you've got a permanent buff, basically. Shard of Retaliation for one of the main quests on Mustafa. Sith Holocron is a nice one. There are all kinds of things. So research all these different kinds of buffs. There will be ones I haven't got. People will put them in the comments. Ones to target, but they're doing the Mustafa quest is a good way to get those buffs and whatnot. There are also Galactic Civil War buffs, uh, which are good for PvP. If you're into PvP, you need to work up your ranks. And on the higher ranks, you can get those Galactic Civil War buffs. And finally, power-ups. Always have power-ups running. I'll show you what I've got at the moment. Uh, we've got these ones going, which add to my... I've got some that give Glancing Blow, which is good for a tank. And I have some that just boost my basic agility. Play around with different power-ups. Those can go on your... Uh, shirt, breastplate, and in this case, in the case of the Jedi, it gets applied to the robe and uh, your weapon as well. Or Jedi's lightsaber can have those buffs, no problem. And uh, that's basically it. So I hope that's helped you. 
an overview of what you need to be considered ready for the end game in Star Wars Galaxies. At this point, I did want to pimp out some stuff on my channel because I'm approaching, I think I might be nearly at like 100 videos on Star Wars Galaxies and Star Wars Galaxies Legends at this stage. And I know it can be difficult to sort through all of those. I've tried to make it as straightforward as possible on the channel, but the really important playlist I consider to be the most important with regards to Galaxies are the tutorials that are in that Star Wars Galaxies tutorials playlist. So before you ask a question, please check out that tutorials playlist. It's on the front page. I've tried to make it as obvious as possible. It's the second thing listed after most recent uploads is the tutorials playlist. If you want to check out all the videos that I've sorted into playlists, go to playlists, uh, go to the home page and then go to playlists of the Nap Yet channel. And you can see all Star Wars Galaxies playlists there and see if I've covered the things that you are thinking about at the moment because I could well have done I've been doing videos on galaxies now for coming up on two years it might even be over two years so uh, there are a lot of videos there but as I say that tutorials playlist is in my eyes the most important thing to do with galaxies on the channel so check there if you have a question check just go down check if there's anything there and if you're a new starter I still think that 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 playlist is a great one to watch is because it, it ranges all over the place but it, I, I've covered so much at this stage so it's there for you guys I've tried to organize it as best I can so use it check it um you know before before you ask a question I might have covered it if I haven't I'll try to pick up you know like I've done with this video I don't think I've done one about end game gear specifically so I thought right okay can answer that question pretty quick so i'll add this to the tutorial so the next time someone asks it will be in the tutorial playlist all right i just wanted to i just wanted to say that because it's supposed to be a resource for people and i, I get the feeling people are not checking it sometimes and that's why it's there it's for you all right i'll uh, i'll speak to you later do check and, and also flipping flipping share it if you've got any new friends who are joining legends it's there. I'm I'm waffling to you for hours on end about Star Wars Galaxies. Watch the watch the playlist. All right, sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you lots. Sorry I shouted at you. Bye.